Zwirgzuhaus. My father was an innkeeper and I was born there. Ilga and her husband have a farm near there. As a child, I spent quite a lot of time in their farm and I have my fondest memories from that time. The sweet aroma of wild strawberries always greeted us when we went there. This is only one of many pleasant and unforgettable memories I have of that farm. Ilga is the granddaughter of my aunt, my mother's sister. We have never met, but Ilga has kept my family's and my photos, and I feel very close to her, although I know we'll never meet. Um, so we have been here now for nearly 40 years and now I'm, I am on my own. My husband, my mother died about 25 years ago, the year my grandson was born. Then I've lost my husband about 11 years ago. My daughter is married lives her own life now and I'm on my own and it, it'll st I'll stay as long as possible here as long as I'm I will be able to because it's not only my home it's turned it's a friend too and I'm I wouldn't like to live anywhere else now
I like it here in Australia, but there is another person within me who can't make a clear cut with the past life. The country I was born, where I went to school, got married when my daughter was born, the language I first spoke. I think that's the fate of all refugees. And when I think back now, despite all the troubles and the hardships, I think I have a lot of blessings to count. I can tell you, Australia has been very good to us. I have my home. I love those beautiful blue skies and the eucalyptus trees. I have a peace of mind, everything. Everything. And my beautiful memories of my motherland. Yes. 